We find ourselves on Crate, crashing through the crystal, which brings things full circle because this sequence in the movie was partly inspired by the original Star Tours. Because Ryan Johnson is a bigger fan of the Star Wars universe than everyone who accused him of ruining Star Wars put together. Then we find ourselves in the battle where we're contacted by a chipper as ever Poe Dameron and an uncharacteristically lethargic General Hux. Yeah, I don't really feel like hamming it up today. I'll conserve my caddy energy for when I really need it. But hey, it's the highest concentration of real actors from the movies we get in a single sequence, so that's fun. And we do help out by shooting down a single ad at. Uh, you sure you don't want us to give you air support for those other ad ats or... I don't know, for that big cannon coming out in a moment that you will have absolutely no way of stopping? No? You sure? Okay, you say you'll take it from here, we'll stay out of your way. And after bringing Star Tours full circle, the ride paves the way for the next Star Wars Disney Park adventure. Yes, I believe this adventure is just beginning. Now, if only you could actually exit the ride onto Batu, But that wouldn't work at all geographically in Disneyland, and it would only work in Disney World if they got rid of... Never mind, I take it back, I take it back, I take it back!